Hello friends, welcome to Data Making. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to install your uh, Apache Kafka, which is a distributed messaging framework on your Ubuntu, which is set up on the virtual machine. So I already opened my virtual machine and it is running on the port num. Sorry, the IP address uh, uh, set for this uh, West, uh, West, uh, sorry, uh, the virtual machine is 192.168.56.102. So uh, I'm going to use this IP address connect from the local machine. So you can use the, using the putty utility, right? So let me close this and I'll tell you how to launch this. How to configure, we need to configure the network uh, uh, host only adapter, uh, host only adapter. So you can follow this step in the week, in the previous uh, uh, videos where uh, Python installation, how to install Python on virtual machine. So in that uh, video, we given how to create a network adapter and then how to do the SSH uh, server installation and client installation. So now we can use the username as data making at the rate, the IP address of the VM and just save open. So it is prompting for the password. Uh, my username is data making, password also data making. Uh, typed wrongly. Okay, now I am able to connect. So if you follow the uh, uh, documentation, right? So we am following this uh, document project setup underscore v1.txt. We have done all these four step earlier videos using the earlier videos. And uh, all the setup documents are available in this folder called uh, uh, course download. Inside that you will have a, a file a folder as ecom uh, real time case study. Inside that you will have docs folder. Then you can do download this. If you register this project, you will uh, would have downloaded this. So the final one, Apache Kafka installation. So for Apache Kafka, uh, Java and Scala to be installed on your machine, which already done using the previous test. If you're not done, please do, uh, do refer and do the installation, come back here. So the version of Python, uh, sorry, Scala we are going to install is uh, Kafka, uh, uh, 3.2.0 which is pre-built on the Scala version 2.12 so that's the reason uh, we installed Scala 12.3 2.12 also so just download this so so what I'm going to is I'll just go to the software directory in the home directory work area software we have other software also here so let's download here so it will take some time based on your internet bandwidth it's close to 99 MB of uh, file size. Okay, then extract it using the tar xp is that command. Okay, since it is extracted here, very good. Now uh, set the, uh, this is the location of uh, Kafka we extracted with the binary file. Go to this location here. Yeah. We are going to set the Kafka home as an environment variable to access the Kafka uh, related uh, utilities. Just for that, open a nano editor. So in the home directory, you have a dot dash rc file. And then paste this and then control X and control, sorry, control O and do enter. So control O is to write the file content and control x to come out of the nano editor okay though that is done uh, now what you need to do is you just go to the uh, the conf directory okay we are here go to kafka conf directory so there is a file called server dot properties open that file using nano editor and then add the so when you create it, so Kafka, you need to understand few terminologies. One is producer, consumer, Kafka broker, which are Kafka server, and Kafka topic and partition. These are the five important terminologies you need to understand. So topic is kind of a container where the message has been written. So you can create a topic, and if you want to delete the topic, by default, delete is not allowed. So to enable the delete option, we are going to put this property. Come to the end. So just say 
tell it dot topic dot enable equal to true we just type in here control x sorry control o to write control x to come out of this right so now what we are going to do is so kafka make use of uh, zookeeper for the coordination or maintaining the offset which is a message id of your uh, Uh, messages which is published uh, to the kafka topics right so we are using the zookeeper so to start the zookeeper we need to use the zookeeper zookeeper iphone server iphone start.sh file for stopping zookeeper iphone server dot stop so we are making these two files we are creating a service file here just a kind of service uh, which is in windows you can start stop certain process of uh, java process right so when you start this zookeeper there will be a java process for zookeeper so that we are trying to maintain as a service so that you don't need to run every time the entire script file with path and all so we have to create one service unit file for zookeeper and similarly for kafka also to start the kafka server we have to run this file called kafka iphone server dot start sorry server iphone start dot sh for stopping kafka ipn server ipn stop data set so this is also we are creating as a kafka service uh, that is previous one is a zookeeper service as a unit file and copy paste this uh, code snippet okay we will do first is zookeeper service so since it is in a uh, system directory we are just using the sudo option okay enter the password Okay, I'll type it wrongly. So this is the first file we are creating. Copy from line number forty-nine to sixty-two, right? So unit and then service name and the user name is data making. So if you are having a different user name, you have to change this user name, right? So just paste it here. Control O, right? Control X. Similarly for Kafka service as well. This is also new file. That's why it is empty. File content is, and this is from line number sixty-eight to eighty-one. Paste it here. Control O, right? Control X to come out of it. Now, since we created the service files, we can start services using the sudo systemctl start zookeeper, which will start the zookeeper service, and also then followed by Kafka service. First, you should not start the Kafka, which will expect the zookeepers to be run up and running. So you can verify the uh, zookeeper default port number, which is two one eight one. You see, it's running. It is, and also for uh, uh, Kafka, it is nine zero nine two. That's also running properly. Uh, if Netstat uh, tool is uh, Netstat utility is not working, you can install using the Net Tools uh, package. sudo apt install Net Tools. uh you can run the jps command so which will uh, there will be a two process running one is kafka broker or server and another is a quorum peer main which is for zookeeper apart from hadoop uh, um, uh, process kafka is also running fine okay so how to create uh, uh, so you can check the status of zookeeper using a sudo system ctl status zookeeper so it is running fine Uh, similarly kafka also you can verify using this command system ctl status kafka is also running fine active running so and then you can uh, start creating the topics we will do in the future steps when we start exploring about the apache kafka we will discuss in detail thank you so much friends i hope you are enjoying this uh, video series Uh, please post your comments uh, in the description section of this video thank you so much